I'm Grant Ament from the Archers Lacrosse Club. In order to become an elite passer, it takes more than skill or speed. It takes a mindset and an obsession. This is game right. Beautiful feed by Ament to Will Manning. What's up, guys? This is part one, my string theory. I use Warrior Evo QX shaft, Evo QX head. I don't use a lot of whip. I use one shooter and then I skip two mesh holes and then a thick nylon. So the Evo QX shaft is light, but it also is, is strong enough to be able to fight through games. Put a little bit of tape on the butt end, nothing too crazy in that regard. I've used this setup since I was a senior in high school. It does not have a lot of whip, decent amount of hold, but most people that pick up my stick, the ball goes pretty high uh, when they try to throw it. I like having a nice and quick release on my passes. If your teammate's open, you need to get him the ball. On the wheels, mighty shoot. No, the pass. Another pass. Wow. When I'm shooting, I need a quick release. I know that I don't shoot the ball 110 miles an hour, but if I can shoot the ball quicker and deceive the goalie a little bit, that more often than not goes in for me. So along with the whip in my stick, I also need to be able to throw quick releases from different angles. And the reason that I actually started doing that was because I'm a smaller guy and I always went against defenders that were always bigger than me. And so when I was playing against them, I had to find ways to get around them and use different stick angles to be able to get the ball to either my teammates or to shoot the ball. Now when I'm doing that, you, I also understand that I need to be able to have a quick release, but I also need to be accurate. And that's where having a good fundamental starting first and then building your stick around you. So with me, it's all about having a, some good top hand action, being able to just flick your wrists to get the ball out, whether you're throwing behind the back, sidearm, righty, lefty, however you want to throw it, it should look the same. And so that's what I've done over the years is kind of perfected that with both my right hand and my left hand. And with that, I'm able to kind of do everything with both hands. Now we are going to dive into the pillars of becoming an elite passer. And that starts with our feet. Okay, so when, when we say it starts with our feet, obviously we can't pass the ball with our feet, but we can use our feet to put our feet. 